what happens if the product or service is um, is not in alignment, but you see the vision of of where it could be? Is there? Uh, do you know what I mean by that? Like, if a product or a service doesn't really have a, a place there yet, but you know that they could if they just tweak this, add this, built this, and now all of a sudden they become uh, a worthy of 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 being there. Uh, now, does that define uh, what you might take on in a client, whether they're willing to do that or not? And B, do you find that most are or are not willing to do that? Yeah, I think it's a it's a great question. And we deal with this all the time because there's sort of two scenarios. The client may be ahead of where the analysts are thinking because they tend to be on the conservative side. So it may be a met, uh, purely an issue of educating the analysts, getting them excited, showing proving there's a market because analysts don't care what vendors say. They care about where there's markets and where there's um, need for their, for help. They, they love confusing markets because that's where they, people need analysts when there's a lot going on, like in AI right now, you know, there's so much going on that analysts are, are having a, a heyday and actually not even a heyday. They're just so overloaded with queries from end users trying to figure right. out this phenomenon and how it's going to impact their business. So um, on the one hand, you have a, a, a client who's ahead of the market and is teaching the analysts and bringing them along and bringing them new ideas and shaping their thinking. And that's going to plant seeds for eventual reports and, and, and value for them. On the other hand, you have clients that just are mismatched, you know, the, the analyst is there, they're just seeing the market differently than the vendor does. They're seeing different requirements, they're seeing different um, objectives, different needs from the clients, uh, from the end user buyers. And it's, then it gets into real relationship management. It gets into, into how you share um, factual information, knowledge, proof points to chip away at someone's perception and share with them new ideas and new ways to think about something. So there, if there's a misalignment, sometimes it's a matter of working towards changing that analyst's opinion. Maybe, you know, they have to come, you want them to come closer to your vision. And sometimes it's a competitor who's got their ear and you need to um, combat that in a nice way. 